Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here I'm going to be showing you I'm going to be basically giving you a complete overview of the entire jungle biome in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite and whatever other Monster Hunter games it is in because it's in quite a few and I'm going to be going over all of the gathering locations and basically just giving you a, an info dump of everything that you more or less need to know. So to get started, usually what I do is I climb up here and I will hit up the honey location right next to the shaman right here. This is when I actually need honey. Most of the time though, I don't need honey because you get plenty when you have the poke farm. But you also get stuff here like the cut Q scales, which are, you know, sometimes worth it. So that location is number one. Actually, let's, uh, let's jump down and do these in order. We'll do number one and then two, then three, then four. Oh, come on, jump off. Let me eat a well done steak. So if this is your, um, if you're doing the gathering quest, then you should bring steaks with you or something to restore your stamina or increase your stamina because depending on how long you're out here, you may need it. So over here is mushrooms. One thing um, I guess I should say at the start of this video is there are so many gathering locations in the jungle that you're not going to be able to hit them all. This is going to be one of those areas that you should specialize in what you want to gather figure out what you want to gather like if you want to gather mines or minerals then you know you bring your pickaxes and you hit up all of the mines and then you hit up you know a few other locations that you need if you want to gather bugs then you bring your bug nets and you hit up the three bug locations that are in this biome and so on and so forth Okay, so here is a one of the places that you can mine. As you can see, it's mostly all low level materials. I don't really care for anything that it gives me, so I'm not going to mine it until I'm done. I want mega pickaxes for other stuff. There's also um, an herb gathering location that you can get over here. Also, I will say this in all of my, there we go, in all of my gathering videos, I realize, depending on where you live in the world, the word herb is pronounced differently. I live on the east coast of America, and usually we, it's like a silent H here. So, just tossing that out there because um, I realized that about a decade ago, when I st first started making internet videos, that uh, the pronunciation of that word is well I, technically almost any word with an H it varies from region to region of the world so just getting ahead of all of the comments that say I'm pronouncing it wrong I would like to say that pronunciations are subjective and it varies depending on you know where you're from like in England in, in England they don't ask for a bottle of water they say bottle what there you go which one is right which one is wrong I'm sure people in, in England will say that ours is wrong and theirs is right. Silly arguments, all subjective, waste of time. Anyway, here is another herb location, or herb location. Herb, however you want to pronounce it. I need some herbs with my herbal tea. It's kind of funny, We, we when we're saying herb, we won't pronounce the H, but when we're saying herbal tea, we will pronounce the H funny how that shit works so that is one location right over there and there should be a seed location too so one thing that you can tell stands that makes this location stand out is you can see how this little grass doodad looks different than everything else in the area that's how you can tell that you can gather there or one of the ways you can tell and here's a location that you can't really see like it you know, nothing here really aside from the there being a lighter spot here. That's the only way that you can tell that you can gather there. So, here's a, one of the bug locations. Bug locations, you can always tell where they are because they'll have these little fireflies flying around in the area. And they're pretty easy to pinpoint and notice. Okay, we'll, we'll call quits on that location. There's another gathering location right here. I'm not, I think it's for a quest or something like that. I'm not entirely sure because every single time I go to gather there, I get that and I've never Googled what it was for. And last but not least in this area, there is a 
mushroom gathering location right here. Did that Kelby just attack? No, he didn't. Maybe it did. Okay, anyway, moving on to area number three. So starting out with area number three, there's a somewhat hidden mine location right here. Again, though, as far as mining in the jungle goes, I would really avoid it. There's uh, If you want mines, minerals, I would recommend the volcano, just hands down, or the polka farm, because the polka farm gives you, like, everything you need anyway, and the volcano gives you rare stuff that the polka farm either doesn't give you, very rarely gives you, or, uh, you, like, you need a higher upgrade than what you currently have at the polka farm in order to mine the other stuff, if that makes sense. Here is another one of the bug locations. You can see the fireflies floating around in the in the air. And then, as you can see, Mr. Crab, he's um, not very happy with us for stealing his bugs. And let's see. There is a... We got the mine. We got the... Well, the only thing we missed is the bait location. And I think the bait location is in the water? I'm not sure. Oh, no, it's over here. Sorry. It's by the rock over here. That's right. So right here is a location where if you ever need bait, you can gather it. Uh, let's do area number 10 since that is closest to area number 3. So over here is a miscellaneous gathering location. You can tell by the seashell right here. That's how you can tell where it is. And uh, I'm going to actually take the beautiful shell right there. You get mostly crap from this location. You get, you'll get you get, like, stones or you'll get account items. And uh, that's really it. And you have to sometimes deal with Mr. Crab. Black Pearl. So that's actually um, a very good one. The Black Pearl. That's, like, if you're going... If you want anything when gathering there, you would want that. That is used to create some some of the higher level items that I've seen at least. So there is another mushroom location here if you need mushrooms. Nice. Lots of special mushrooms which are good because they're used they're account items. So over here we have more fireflies. And then over here we have a, a miscellaneous gathering area, but it actually has some good stuff in it. Um, you can get more cut coup scales here. You can also get some other good goodies, kind of like the black pearls. I'm blanking on what else you can get here though, but it's a good location that I sometimes hit up. That is all though for this area, number 10. Okay, so let's go to area number four next. We'll use some of these herbs. So this area I generally skip every single time because it's just really nothing good here, for lack of better words. So this is one herb gathering location. This location, you can tell, you can, I mean, look at the little doodad on the ground. It kind of stands out, kind of unique, kind of hard to miss. So that is one. And then here's another one. You can tell uh, the doodad on the ground. And I, this is the same one that I showed you earlier, the plant that looks kind of like a fern. This one over here looks kind of like a mushroom, I guess, but it, it's still an herb gathering location, despite the fact that it looks like a mushroom. There is a mining location here too, right here. But again, I generally avoid mining locations in, when I'm in the jungle. And there is a gathering location in the water as well. If I can find it. I think it's up here, but I didn't see the shell. Where is the shell? Oh, there it is. Always when you're looking for the gathering locations in the water, pay attention to the seashell in the water. That is how you can easily find them. Oh, 
All right, so let's uh Good. I didn't bring the I didn't grab the Paul pass, which is good. So we'll drop off what we have there. And then we will climb up here again to area number 5 because that's next. Alrighty. So area number five is another one that I generally skip. There are multiple herb gathering locations here and multiple mushroom. So here's one of the herb gathering locations. Most of the items you get there, you just, you don't need, if I'm being completely honest. You can buy a lot of them from vendors and really, yeah, you just don't need them. Here's one of the mushroom gathering locations. And there is an herb gathering location over here, if I'm not mistaken. Sometimes the resource maps are wrong that I find online. Like, I'm using the ones on Game FAQ, and I swear, they, uh, they're they inaccurate sometimes. So here's another mushroom gathering spot. Not to be confused with that one over there. There's two in this area. And then there is one more herb gathering location over here by this tree. All right, let's go inside to area number six. This location is one of the harder ones because there's always going to be enemies in here. A lot of times, too, when you're on other quests, there's going to be boss enemies in here. This is also like the lair where bosses go when they're injured to rest. So that's something to keep in mind. There is a herb gathering location here, as you can see. Or, sorry, a mushroom gathering location. So over here, you can gather herbs. Over here, you can gather mushrooms. And right here, you can gather bones. So, bones are a little bit of a weird one, in my opinion. Um, it all depends on what you... Is that a uh, account item? Oh, okay. Thought it was. So, bones, it all depends on what you what type of weapon I guess you use. If you don't use a bow gun, then there's really no reason for you to gather bones because you don't need an, a lot of them. However, if you're making your own ammo, you're probably going to need a lot of bones because ammo uses bones. So bone locations are important depending on what weapon you're using is essentially the, the information that you should take from that. So here is another bone gathering location. Also, if I'm not mistaken, there are multiple bone gathering locations in this area. Like, I think, I think all three of these are different ones, but I could be mistaken. Okay, so it says there's nothing else here. What about this one? Nothing else there? What about this one over here? Okay, so apparently they all count as one in this regard. This uh, area right here is a uh, egg location, meaning... Actually, I think that, yeah. Is it up here or is it down there? I think it's down there where the eggs are. That would make the most sense, right? That is where if you want to get that uh, a carnivore egg, which then you can lug back to the um, drop location and turn it in the crate and get poker points. If you want to go through all of that, that's, that's where you can get it. So let's see. Area number eight is next. Let me do another... Well done steak since we're getting kind of low on stamina. That's one of the reasons you want to bring a well done steak with you. Or any food that recovers, you know, health. So now we're in area number eight. This location has a single mine, a single spot to mine, which is right here. Already have plenty of those decoration jewels. Right over here is one of the, I think it's a bone gathering location right here. I don't think this is the egg location. One, I would say this area isn't worth doing. If, uh, if if you need bones, then it kind of is worth doing because there's not many bone gathering locations out there. However, the thing that I really, really, really hate about this location is the little cats that walk around here steal from you when they hit you. So it's just, it's very, very annoying to deal with. 
a lot I would say 90% of the time they steal shit you don't have to you know it doesn't matter if they take it but the other times they do and it is annoying so those two locations are uh and there's another bone location over here if I'm not mistaken yep or this might be a garbage location and by yeah by garbage I mean um it's gonna give me like miscellaneous stuff like dung, cuckoo scales, stuff like that. And area number nine is the last one that we need to, to cover. And then we're done. All right, so there is a mining location over here, if I'm not mistaken. Do I have to climb up in order to get to it? No, it doesn't look like it. There we go. So right here, basically where the, the two colors meet is the best way that I can think to describe it. Like, see where the, the gold meets the, the plane? So that is a mining location. Over here is a mushroom location. As you can see by the mushrooms on the ground. There will be uh, annoying enemies in here, like that bull drum guy that charges around. Something to keep in mind. Sometimes you're going to have to kill him if you want to safely gather, depending on how much gathering you're going to do in this area. Here is another mushroom location, as you can see, mushrooms. And here's another honey location, as you can see the honey. And last but not least, technically we still have one more fishing location to show you, but there's a fishing location right here. You can see the little fishies in the water, and you can see that I can fish there. And then let's go to area number zero, which is essentially where the, the home base is for this area, because there's actually another fishing location that we can do there as well. So when you run on the boat like this and you go to the helm, you can see that there's a fishing location right here there's some fish in the water too and everything and that really is all there is to it that is every location that i personally know of in the jungle if i left any of them out or forgot anything or whatever it may be please let me know in the comment section below always great to get everybody's feedback and i will be doing another video aside from this one that will give you the optimal farming route for the jungle so stay tuned for that because this just kind of gives you a complete information dump of the entire area where you can find shit and stuff like that. The optimal farming route is going to be what I personally do whenever I do a farming run through the jungle. And also an explanation of why I chose that farming route. But anyway, that's all there is to it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, be sure to leave me a like because that helps me out. And aside from that, I will catch you guys around in future Monster Hunter Freedom Unite videos. Peace!